Posted on the door of the museum is a Can I ask you? I'm not going back in there. A sign under... There's no end. There's a small marble plate near the tomb doors. The plate is up. Beneath the plate is a button. Gabriel hears the faint sound of breaking glass. think there'd be a light. The signal device. 
and anything else of interest in the bayou is no doubt long since gone. There's nothing. This is a nothing else looks related. The filing cabinet is Eddie is busy, officer. If you just tell her goodbye. It's yeah. Can we talk? Grandmother Knight rarely uses the fireplace these days. I'm gonna go enjoy. Looks pretty. Some old clothes.
This wall is covered with decorated skulls. An ossuary shrine to some of the Getty ancestors. I <laughs> hope no one ever builds me a shrine like that. I think I know what happened to the men in the family now. Huh. Some of these look loose. Gabriel doesn't see it. There's broken glass on the floor. Someone's broken the light in here. No wonder it's so dark. Gabriel has a feeling it wouldn't be wise to screw around unduly in this too. Gabriel doesn't need any bro- The plaque under drawer has an etching of the Veve on it, but no name. The plaque on the drawer has a name etched on it. Cecily Getty. The plaque on the drawer... Ariane Getty. The plaque... Helena Getty. The plaque on the... Jacqueline Getty. The plaque... Casilla Getty. The plaque on the drawer... Celeste Getty. The plaque on the dr Zelia Get Mosley. Shit, I dropped my flashlight. Huh? <clears throat> hell was that? Mosley's body is gone. There's a wallet in the drawer. It must have fallen from Mosley's jacket when the body was moved. Perhaps Gabriel should... <laughs> Gabriel opens the wallet and finds some ID belonging to Mosley and an American's repressed card. Mosley's American's repress card. Credit. What a concept. It's a man's... The drawer's interior contains mostly dust and bones. There's nothing, Gabriel. Don't get personal.
have you been? I was worried about you. For good reason, apparently. What happened? Do you need a doctor? Nothing you want to know about, and no, you're some aspirin. Gabriel, this is nuts. You have to get out of New Orleans. No kidding. Well, listen, Wolfgang called while you were out. He said, and I quote, Tell Gabriel that I found what I was looking for. It's time for me to do my duty. Schloss Ritter is his now. Now call me crazy, but I don't think that's good news. Not for Uncle Wolfie, no. What are you gonna do? If I figure it out, I'll let you know. Does this mean anything? How did you get Mosley's credit card? Never mind. I don't even want to know. Tell it to the judge. Got a minute, Grace? Could Sure. Huh? I have a number for a travel agent on that phone book page if I need to call them. Didn't Grice say you had to dial 011 first to get international? How much for a trip to Rittersburg, Germany? Rittersburg, Germany? Hold on, let me look that up. I can fly you into Munich. That's the closest airport to Rittersburg. You can rent a car from there or take the train. Let's see, the best price I can see for the flight is $1,400. What would you like to do? Charge it to my Americans repressed. Yes, sir. And your name was? Mosley. Feeling a little guilty, Gabriel gives the travel agent Mosley's card number and is informed that he can pick up his tickets at the Norlands International Airport.
Got a min- What's up? Guess what? I'm going to Germany. Really? That's great. But how on earth can you afford- A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Oh my god. I wouldn't like the sound of that even if you were a man. I'll miss you too, Grace. Goodbye, Gracie. Good luck. Of course. Are you gonna be okay here by yourself? I'll be fine. Just fix this, okay? I'm Gabriel picks up his tickets at the airport and boards a plane for Munich. My name is Knight. Gabriel Knight. Herr Knight? Oh, kommen Sie bitte herein. I mean, come in please, Herr Knight. I was not expecting you. Has Wolfgang sent you here? Uncle Wolfgang? No, I came to see him. Isn't he here? No, he is gone. I'm sorry. You came all this way. No, oh, great. That's all I need. Herr Knight, Wolfgang told me all about you and gave me instructions for you to feel welcome here. Please, this is your home. You are a Ritter, no? I'm just doing some work. I will continue and you may make yourself comfortable. If there's anything you need, please ask me. You may use Wolfgang's bedroom. It is at the top of the stairs. Thank you, miss. You may call me Gerda, Herr Knight. Christmas, which was our goal. Frozen, you have a passion. Great day. Okay. Gerda is fresh faced and quite attractive. Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, of course. What can you tell me about voodoo? Wolfgang is the only one who would know about that. Tell me what you know about Schottenjägers. 
As Wolfgang may have told you, Schattenjäger means shadow hunter. The Ritter family have always been Schattenjäger. It is a kind of priesthood, though not as restrictive as most. Tell me what you know about Schattenjägers. Each Schattenjäger passes on his knowledge to a younger man in the Ritterline when the time is right. Tell me what you know about Schattenjägers. I am sure Wolfgang meant for you to take his place someday as Schattenjäger. Tell me about Wolfgang. What would you like to know? Where do you think Wolfgang went? I don't know, but I have a feeling he has gone off to be Schattenjäger again. He is too old for such chasing around. His heart is very weak. He has not left this castle for five years, and now this? Do you know when he'll be back? I only pray he will be back. Before he left, he said Schloss Ritter now belongs to Gabriel. It worried me so to hear him say that. I'm afraid Wolfgang knew he would never return. What's Wolfgang like? Wolfgang is a truly wise and good man, the best I have ever known. But his life has been so full of disappointments. What kind of disappointments? His only son died in infancy, so there was no one to carry on the family line. And the family's financial troubles have been hard on him. Wolfgang wanted to do so much for the world, but it was all he could do to just hold on to Schloss Ritter. He has not left his mark as he wished to. What is your relationship with Wolfgang? Herr Knight, my relationship with your uncle is really none of your business. You're right, Goethe. I apologize. Forget I asked. Can you show me Wolfgang's library? How do you know about his library? When we talked on the phone, he said he was going to do some research in his library. I thought maybe if I saw what he was researching... Ah, yeah! A good idea, Herr Knight. But I'm afraid I cannot show you the library. You see, I have never been in it. Only a Schattenjäger can enter the library. I see. Just tell me anything. Wolfgang has dedicated his entire life to the role of Schattenjäger. Just... He's not had a very happy life, but I've done my best to provide him with a little comfort. Just tell me anything. He thought he was the last of the Ritter line until he found out about you. Just... He knows the history of the Ritter family from many centuries past. He is a good man, a strong man. I am fond of him. Oh. As you... Tell me something about the Ritter family. I can tell you what they say in the village, what I heard when I was small. To the villagers, the Ritters are a little... How do you say? Tragic. To be pitied. They say that the Ritters were chosen by God to fight evil. But something happened. One of them was cursed, and so the Ritters lost the way. They struggle still, but like a lame dog, you see, without the power or magic they once had. Tell me something about the Ritter family. There are legends of how powerful the family once was, of some of their mighty deeds, of the richness of the castle and, in turn, Rittersberg itself. But at the end of the 17th century, that all changed. Since then, the Ritters and Rittersberg have been in decline. Tell me something about Schloss Ritter. Schloss Ritter has stood for many centuries. No one knows how long. It was once the pride of Bavaria, but now it is in disrepair. Wolfgang received offers to open the castle for tourists. He has resisted, though, even though the castle is in desperate need of repairs. To him, this ground is sacred. Tell me something about... The castle has many, many rooms and passages, Herr Knight. Most have been closed off and are decaying in the dark and damp. Only a few rooms have been kept up due to the cost. Didn't Wolfgang mention a library? There's a library, but I've never been in it. 
There are places in the castle where only the master is allowed to go. Tell me something about Schloss Ritter is the center from which the Schattenjäger have always gone out to battle the forces of evil. Tell me something about yourself. I was born in Rittersberg, the village below the castle. So what do you do when you're not puttering around the castle? Every day I go to Rittersberg to do the daily shopping and visit my friends. Have you worked here long? For the past four years. What's it like in Ritter? It is very peaceful and quiet. I'm sure you will find it like a vacation, yeah? Somehow I doubt this is going to be a vacation. This place is so quiet. Doesn't that bother you at all? I love it here in Schloss Ritter. Even the silence feels like home to me. Tell me something about yourself. I am not well traveled, but Wolfgang has been kind and has tutored me in many subjects. It was from him I learned to speak English. He must have sensed you were coming, Herr Knight, and that you would have need of me. Tell me something about yourself. I am very devoted to my position here with Wolfgang. Tell me something about yourself. I love Rittersberg. No place on earth could be as beautiful. A few tapestries hang on the wall. Gabriel isn't sure if they mean something or if they're just good insulation. Gabriel is sure he'll end up getting some of those for a meal sooner or later. Gerda wouldn't appreciate Gabriel messing with her lunch. It's a shaker of Gabriel can't do much with the salt while it's on the deck. At the moment, Gabriel can't think of a need for the salt. A few ancient weapons adorn the hall. This Shadowhunter stuff is serious. A large, handcrafted dagger hangs on the wall. It looks quite old, but it's been polished to a high shine. A few ancient weapons adorn the... That weapon might be a bit much to... The Ritter Dagger is solid, weighty, and highly polished. Do you want this dagger back? No, it belongs to your family. Do you know anything about this? It's Günther Ritter's journal. Wolfgang told me he sent it to you. Do you know anything about this? It looks like an old photograph of your grandfather Heinz, Wolfgang and their father. It's a lion's head, carved in stone. There's a dragon's head on the wall.
a plain wooden altar occupies the center of the chapel. A cushion kneeler at the bottom indicates that the altar is a place of prayer. Gabriel doesn't have a reason to kneel at the altar right now. A magnificent stained glass window depicts the legendary battle between St. George and the dragon. I named my shop after you. You've always fascinated me. I just never knew why until now. Let's go. The shirt, please. I don't know how long I've been waiting for this moment. Now. Hold still. Maybe you'd like to time me. One more remark and I'm leaving. Okay, okay. Done. It's just stunning. Sorry, I couldn't make it last longer. Well, it was about what I expected from you. There's a small pair of grooming scissors on the cabinet. Gabriel takes the scissors.
man, I gotta get more sleep. You handsome devil, you. A large display case hangs on the wall. It contains a scroll. This scroll looks interesting. St. George, patron of the light, who hunts the shadows of the night. Upon my blood I call thee now. Purify me, for I avow to sit my feet upon thy road. Thy sword I take up for mine own. It's a chamber pot. Take me back to the 20th century, please. I don't have to right now. Even if I had to, I wouldn't. There's a window seat on either side of the window. Gabriel isn't interested in sitting at the moment. A gothic-style window looks out over an incredible view. A gothic A fire blazes steadily in the stone fireplace. The fire's already blazing, and Gabriel doesn't want to put it out. No thanks. It's the biggest bed Gabriel has ever seen. I'm tired, but it's daylight here. I can't sleep when it's light outside. The bed is much too large to tote around, unfortunately. The door is surrounded by an ornate lintel. The portal says... Nor dare Rhine's darf pass herein. Diesen hertz is Rhine wie Glas. Diesen Ziele Rhine wie Feuer. Schreitet heuer Dirks per Tal. Near the bed is an unla- The door has a very large, very oddly shaped keyhole. It's locked. The only way to open that door is with the right key. The cabinet holds a few items for personal grooming. The hair clipping scissors are spotless. It looks like Wolfgang uses his scissors as infrequently as Gabriel uses his own. Gabriel has no time to explore Rittersburg. He's got pressing business inside the castle. The main entry doors are massive. They look strong enough to withstand anything. Candelabra flanked the altar. Candelabra. The candles are already lit and Gabriel doesn't want to extinguish them. Tree panels hang from each side of the chapel. 
Gabriel can't determine what their purpose might be. There's no reason to put the scroll on the altar. St. George, patron of the light, who hunts the shadows of the night, upon my blood I call thee now. Purify me, for I avow to sit my feet upon thy road, thy sword I take up for mine own. There's a plain wooden Gabriel doesn't Candelabra. Can you tell me about this scroll? It is the scroll of St. George, patron saint of England and of the Ritter family. Can I ask? Yeah, of course. What can you tell me about those wall panels in the chapel? The hangings. They describe the Schattenjäger initiation ceremony. There are some words over the locked door in Wolfgang's bedroom. What do they mean? Ah, yes. Wolfgang had me translate it as part of my English lessons. In English it means, Only the purest here may pass. He whose heart is pure as glass. He whose soul is pure as fire. Through this portal passes higher. Great, thanks. Tell me about the Schattenjäger initiation ceremony. Each young man of the Ritter line must go through the ceremony when he dedicates himself to be a Schattenjäger. But what does the ceremony do? I do not know, Herr Knight. The only people present are the old Schattenjäger and the new. But I think it must be similar to a priest's ordination or a wedding. A ceremony of intent and oath. Ooh, Is there a problem, Herr Knight? You said wedding. I'm okay now.
there's no reason to put the scroll on the altar. The candles are already lit. The fifth panel shows someone kneeling. The fourth panel shows a knife and a few drops of blood. The sixth panel shows a scroll. The third panel shows a chalice on a table with ocean waves in the background. The second panel shows hair and a knife. The first panel shows hands and water. I don't have to right now. Even if I had to, I... Gabriel takes the chamber pot. Is that a shaker of salt? Yeah, salt. Mind if I take it? No. Thanks. Gerda wouldn't appreciate. Thinking of the third panel, Gabriel puts the chamber pot on the altar. There's a chamber pot. The chamber pot is hardly a chalice, but it's the best Gabriel can come up with at the moment. I don't cut my hair without a damn good reason. The second panel shows hair and a knife. A magnificent stained glass Gabriel knows the salt is important, but it doesn't seem right to eat it. Thinking of the third panel, Gabriel pours the contents of the salt shaker into the chamber pot. The third panel shows a chalice on a table with ocean waves in the background. I don't cut my hair. Do you know anything about... Yeah, those are Wolfgang's scissors. Gabriel has no time. Thinking of the first chapel panel, Gabriel washes his hands in the water. Thinking of the second chapel panel, Gabriel cuts his hair. I hate this. There. That's plenty. I'm not picking up those scissors again. I've cut my hair enough.
putting that in the chamber. Thinking of the fourth panel, Gabriel holds his arm over the chamber pot and nicks it with the dagger. Oh, oops. Nearly hit an artery. Thinking of the fifth panel, Gabriel kneels at the altar. Thinking of the sixth panel, Gabriel reads the scroll. Saint George, patron of the light, who hunts the shadows of the night. Upon my blood I call thee now. Purify me, for I avow to set my feet upon thy road. Thy sword I take up for mine own. It worked. Something's happening. Oh, excuse me. I was just vacuuming. I did not know you were in here. No, that's all right. I've done about all I can do in here anyway. I give up. You look tired, Herr Knight. Why don't you go to bed? Sure, why not? I will clean everything up. You need not worry. I can't believe I cut my hair for nothing. I'm sore all over.
there's a key on the table. I don't believe it. It's the key from my dream. Guten Morgen, Herr Knight. I'm cooking your Frühstück, a good German breakfast. Please feel at home. I found this key in Wolfgang's bedroom. That is good, Herr Knight. I found this key in Wolfgang's bedroom. That is good, Herr Knight. Can I ask... Yeah, of course. You wouldn't know anything about this key I found in Wolfgang's bedroom now, would you? Key? Why no, Herr Knight. I cannot say that I do. These shelves contain history books. Gabriel wouldn't know which history book to read. 
These shelves contain books and documents about the Ritter family. Journals, diaries, record books, deeds. Something to peruse extensively when Gabriel has more time. Although it probably won't shed any light on Wolfgang's whereabouts, Gabriel picks up a book from the Ritter section. This book is entitled Malleus Maleficarum, The Witch Hammer. Dated 1486, it's a witch hunter's manual from the Inquisition. I'm not so sure I'm really interested in knowing about some of my ancestors. These shelves contain books on religions of all kinds. Gabriel wouldn't know where to begin with the religion books. These shelves... Gabriel looks at the titles curiously, but they're all a bit too technical for his tastes. This part of the library contains books on the occult, necromancy, witchcraft, demonology, lycanthropes, Although it probably isn't connected with the case at hand, Gabriel picks up an occult book. It's a book on lycanthropes, shapeshifters. The book claims that lycanthropy is not uncommon. Supposedly, there's been evidence of apparently normal human beings turning into various beasts throughout history, including some famous trials from the Middle Ages. Fascinating. Gabriel's made a few women turn into beasts himself. These shelves display books on geography. Gabriel's not sure where to start with these books. There are books on sociology in this part of the library. Gabriel wouldn't know where to begin. These shelves contain books on archaeology. Gabriel would know where A heavy wooden table occupies the center of the library. With all these books around, Gabriel would have a hard time sitting still. On the wall is the image of a shield taking up several stone tiles. However, the image in its center looks jumbled and out of order. It moves.
Gabriel slides the last tile into place, revealing a compelling coat of arms image of a lion and a snake that looks familiar somehow. With the shield's image in the proper order, the wall opens to reveal a hidden room. Behind the wall is a shrine to Shot and Jaeger's past, their weapons, trophies, and legacy. A Shot and Jaeger trophy room. Fucking awesome. A title catches Gabriel's eye. People's Republic of Benin by Lowell Cayley. Gabriel pulls out a book entitled People's Republic of Benin and scans through it. The People's Republic of Benin is an area of rich and diverse cultures and a proud heritage. Before slaving devastated many tribes, this area was populated by some of the oddest, fiercest, and most powerful tribes in tribal Africa. The Fons, the Dahomies, and the terrible Agri. The book The Primal Ones by John Roots provides insight into these fascinating cultures. A title catches G Gabriel pulls out a book in the P Bef the book the Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, of course. Gabriel feels ready to leave, but he needs to arrange his travel plans first. Can I? Yeah. I named my shop after you. A magnificent... Gabriel's not sure where to... These shelves. Although it... Uh, Gabriel wouldn't know. Gabriel would... Although it probably won't. Gabriel pulls out a book. The People's Republic of Benin. Before slaving devastated many. The book The Primal Ones by John Roots provides insight into these fascinating cultures. Gabriel takes down the primal ones and opens it. In contrast with the peaceful, nomadic tribes of northern Africa, certain tribes of the southwest were vicious and xenophobic. 
This part of Africa is called the Red Basin area because of the vast amount of bloodshed that occurred there over the centuries. In this one area of Africa existed, in a perpetual state of war and raiding, some of the most powerful and efficient fighters the world has ever seen. Why did this region inspire such violent behavior? To understand, one must look even further back, see ancient roots of Africa by early days. Gabriel's not sure where to start. Gabriel removes ancient roots of Africa and browses through it. The ferocity of the tribes in the Red Basin region is traceable to their predecessors. In Egyptian time, 4000 to 2000 BC, this region was ruled by powerful sun worshippers. We know a little about this mysterious cult by the remnants of ruins far older and of a culture far more advanced than any that exists in Africa today. See Sun Worshippers by A. Curate. Gabriel de Ferrat. We know a Sea Sun Worshippers by A. Gabriel takes down sun worshippers and scans it. One of the most earliest religious practices was that of sun worship. The most powerful cults of sun worshippers lived on the continent of Africa. The African sun god was violent and terrible, and so became his worshippers. They practiced a particularly bloody form of ritual sacrifice. The homeland of this ancient cult is still considered a sacred site of power. See Ancient Digs of Africa by Professor Seymour Shards. Gabriel's not sure what... Gabriel takes Ancient Digs of Africa and opens it. The most fascinating archaeological site in Africa is the Great Snake Mound in the People's Republic of Benin located 50 miles south of the capital in the Red Basin. Like the snake mounds of North America, the origin and meaning of these great mounds remains a mystery, though clearly they were the result of profound and urgent spiritual belief. Unlike other snake mounds, the African example is a double snake mound, a small snake ring within a larger snake ring. The mound is thought to have housed an ancient temple, Although archaeologists explored the mound site, the interior remains largely unchanged from ancient times. This is partially due to stringent government regulations and partially to local superstition. The local people regard the mound with fear and won't go near it. A double snake ring? Gabriel flips furiously, looking for a picture. Oh my god, it's a wheel within a wheel. Gabriel decides to hang on to the Snake Mound book. Gabriel opens Ancient Digs of Africa. The most fascinating archaeology, like the Snake Mound, unlike Although I, this is partially due, Gabriel looks. I found this book in the library. I think it might tell us where Wolfgang went. Africa? You think Wolfgang went to Africa? I know he did. Then I shall make you a plane trip right now, yeah? Well, I guess so. Good, good. My poor Wolfgang. You have money for the plane, yeah? Are you sure the Ritter estate can't pay? I manage Wolfgang's books, I am quite sure. Have you any money? I know, we can use his credit card. Terrific! 
I will go make the call. Then, by we wait, breakfast. Does that mean I can get some coffee now? You're within a wheel. You want I stay here, right? It's a long walk back to the city. Yeah, sure. Wait here, please. I may be a while, though. No problem. I could use a nap. Old school, all the creatives. 